Hey there, Shy. This is Holden Dress. I spoke with Nora, and she said that I could shoot you guys over this quick video. In this video, I basically wanted to just go over a few things that I think that if you implemented yourself, you could start seeing some more traffic to your business, getting found easier in the search results online. I um, mean, a lot of times the only hesitation that I, I see that people have to hiring someone for this sort of thing is they really don't know who the experts are and who they're not. And that's why I like to give out this quick video and it just shows some things that you can do yourself. Um, and it's resulted in a lot of business owners just coming back to me and asking me for help. Um, I'm also going to take a look at you know how much traffic you guys currently are getting to your website and that of your top competitors. Um, so with, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Um, I've got your website up right here. I do like the way it's laid out and there's outlets for people to reach out to you uh, pretty quickly. This is super important. When it comes to Google optimization, the first thing that Google looks at is content. They want to see about you know, 1,500 words of content on your home page alone for optimization. Um, and I'd say you've got a good amount of content on here, so you're probably doing well in that aspect. Um, in addition to content, Google wants you to include specific keywords that you know people are searching for to find you. And keywords are basically anything that someone searches for up in the search bar. Uh, what you really want to pick out is buyer intent keywords. So these are keywords that you know people are reaching, at, looking for your services right away. They're ready to reach out for your service right away. Um, that, a, an example of a buyer intent keyword would be, you know, uh, a landscaping affordable or landscaping near me, landscape design. Uh, one that would be not a buyer intent keyword would be landscaping cost, right, or tree removal cost. You know these people are still just doing their research they're not ready to actually reach out to a contractor right now they're still looking around so when you're picking out those keywords make sure that you're utilizing the ones that you know people are going to want to reach out to a contractor and purchase your services right now next thing I'm going to show you is this down here this is called the Google map pack uh, it looks like you guys are Green advisor, yeah, this is you guys. So you're you're actually or no, this may not be you here. Let's see. No, nope, this is a different person. So you guys are not in the top three here. Um so to get into the top three of this, which is an incredibly useful tool because about seventy percent of people will actually only click on the Google Map Pack. It's the first thing that pops up in the search results. Uh, people can see exactly where you they where you are in relation to their home or business and you can see the reviews and everything so it's a very useful tool it's a free tool with Google but to get found in the Google map pack which there's only three spots you need to basically get your name address and phone number into as many directories as possible these are things like Facebook yellow pages Yelp uh, anywhere you can get your name address and phone number the key is consistency across all of them you want to make sure that all your information is exactly the same uh, whether it's your business hours your your address anything like that there's any inconsistency Google will kind of take that as being confusing to the customer and they'll deduct you points in authority and you won't actually show up in this top three and like I said that clicks about 70 percent of the traffic so it's an important place to be uh, down here this is the remaining 30 percent will go to just the the first page really not past that I don't think I see you guys here either uh, is this you right here green grounds or green advisor nope that's someone different so to get found in the organics of the first page, what you need to do is go out and get what we call backlinks. Backlinks are basically links from other websites linking to your website. Uh, the more of these links that you have, the better. Uh, you can see there's a bunch of them here. Not all links are created equal. Uh, some links have more authority than others. As you can see, it's kind of scored out of 100. So this one's a pretty low power link. This one's a little bit better. This is a really powerful link. And that's based off of you know how much traffic they get to that site. Uh, how relevant it is, how many years that site has been up, things like that. You can get links from sites from directories or from commenting on blog posts, things like that. Uh, anywhere that is relevant and has to do with your industry is a good place to to get a link. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take a look over here. This is a tool called SEM Rush. It's basically one of the more powerful tools in my industry that shows you know how much traffic is going to someone's website and why. I've got your website pulled up against this Flores, uh, they're the top ones in your area, let's see, Flores Artscape. So if you look here, you guys get about 25 people to your website a month organically through search results um, versus they get about 337 people to their website. So that's uh, significantly more traffic than 
and you guys are getting and we'll go ahead and take a look why so if you look over here this is the referring domain so this is how many websites are linking back to their website and this is how many times that website is linking back to their website it's important to know that you know if you have 20 links coming from the same website it only transfers power once so even though you know you have they have 1600 links in 431 websites that it's coming from this is the important number so they have 431 websites linking to their website versus your 45 um, so that's one of the main reasons why they're on the first page and you're not in addition this is how many keywords that they're ranking for that Google recognizes as things people are searching for versus you you have about 27 um, and that's what's contributing to how much traffic they're specifically getting to their website and if you were able to steal even a fraction of that away right you know that probably result in a significant amount of more customers to your business um, and put some more money in your pocket so uh, I hope this is helpful and if you'd like to chat some more uh, I'd love to hear what you thought about the video you know if there's anything you liked or didn't like um, but either way if you're not opposed to leaving me some feedback uh, that would be great my information is in the bottom of the email and I look forward to hearing back from you thanks for taking the chance to watch the video have a good one